Hey, uh, real quick, before we do anything, I got two things we gotta do. I do a really bad podcast called Cut the Tape, and for like the last six years, there's been no intro to it. So Lucas is gonna record everyone, and on the count of three, I need everyone to say, Cut the Tape, and that's gonna be the intro to the show. Okay, so one, two, three. Cut the tape! Lucas, did you get that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. <laughs> yes! Cut the tape has returned. I am Rick Alvarez. Filming this at Has Been Collectible Toys and Comics. The first time we're filming at Has Been. I not only own a frame shop, now I own a collectible toy and comic book store. Let's take a look. Transformers, D&D, Star Wars, art, Legos. I sell a ton of Legos. And then there's the frame shop over there. There's the frame shop. But today is cut the tape day. And we're gonna start off cut the tape with something very special. My friend Mike got the record for the world's largest Transformers collection. And right after he got that record, like a bitch, he started selling off his collection. But I gave him an idea. I said, you know what? Something nice you could do, fun, and potentially creates more buzz about your selling. Every item comes with this a certificate of authenticity that has the item description the world record count number because everything has to be inventory for guinness which is why i don't have the the record yet but i want my yeah so um you know sorry about that sometimes you know i, I happen to be open today and you get a phone call and somebody wants to come down right away and purchase an $800 painting from you. And believe me, you take that call. Cut the tape is not that important as selling a painting for 800 American. Sorry to Lucas for having to make you splice these together. I'm sure Zeldron's getting a laugh at this. But to continue, Ghostbusters, I had this one as a kid. Ghostbusters, I had this one as a kid. Ghostbusters, uh, the only um, Winston I ever had was the original. I, I was an Egon Peter guy. There's uh, This is the only Flash Gordon figure I got because uh, A, he's pantsless, and, and B, he's got, you know, he's got this huge smile, like, Look at, look at that smile. Look at that smile. Look. Flash Gordon is an amazing movie. It's an amazing movie. But this is the only one I got because, I, I mean, he just, he just looks so happy. And uh, he's going to go great with my He-Man figures. So I, I love that Flash Gordon movie. In a perfect world, the guy who played Flash Gordon, and, you know, he's got to be pushing, you know, mid to late 60s. He would play Stretch Armstrong, but like, you know, a retired Stretch Armstrong who can't like, oh, I can't stretch like that anymore. Uh, Turtles of Grayskull, Ram Man. This whole line, it's, it's really hit or miss. Like, I'll tell you, the one I really don't care for is um, Man at Arms. And I see him everywhere. And I just don't care. I haven't bought him. I'm not going to buy him. <gasps> Missing Link. Finally. Finally. Missing Link comes into my life. <sighs> Woo. It's the Missing Link. Expertly packaged. Thank you. Oh. Oh. And it's styrofoam. Look. Look, they put him in stuff. Oh my God, oh my baby. They put you in styrofoam? <gasps> I mean, that's not the best 
material in the world because of the environment, but nostalgia, man. Oh, that hits, that hits in all the feels. Oh, Luna Cruiser Optimus. That hits in all the fields. Let's take a look at this one. Whew. You know what we're opening later. This is definitely going on the uh, odd crossover shelf that the X-Men and the soon-to-be-released Ninja Turtle will go on and the Maverick from Top Gun, Ectotron. Those, those all live in on that shelf. Yeah. Heavy. Train set, gift set. Alright. Another big box. I'm gonna open it over here rather than throw it on the counter. Oh that just makes my day. The missing link comes with styrofoam, but that lady wants to buy a painting. Woo! That gives me the power to surprise. All right, we've got wingnut. Oh, look at how big this box is, Jesus. This is huge. Wingnut and screw loose. Screw loose finally has articulation. I mean, that screw loose is so big, it's like he could be his own release. Oh, we've got Scumbug. Lots of Super Siete. We've got Reformatting Megatron. Zack the Neutrino. G.I. Jose, the Baroness. We've got Molecular, I love the chrome on that. Oh. Oh, we've got Starscream. This is the uh, MDLX Starscream. It's about time he came out. Yes, yes, yeah, Starscream. Indubitably, look, he comes with an Optimus head and an Optimus chest. Yeah. Oh man, premium finish, Transformers BWVS, Ghost Starscream versus Haunted Waspinator. Love Beast Wars. Premium finish Ghost Star Screen versus Haunted Waspinator. Deja vu. Uh, Splinter. Oh, I'm a sucker for Glow in the Dark. Glow in the Dark. From the uh, from the movie Star Trek First Contact. Oh, uh, Yolo Park. Rhinox, YOLO Park, Scarge, YOLO Park Scourge, wait, wait, what? We got two Scourge? Sometimes I pre-order stuff and I forget that I pre-order it, and then, like, that's how I end up with two Cheetors. I guess I got a, a Cheeto or a Scourge for sale at the store. Those right there. Oh, that's, huh. You know, one time, oh, I went to this toy store and I was walking around. Well, you know, what can I find? What can I buy? I want to buy something and I see a uh, Transformers Metals. This is the Trans Metal Beast Wars 2 pack of uh, X and Silver Bolt, which is Rampage and Silver Bolt, the Takara version. I'm like, hey, you know, whatever the price was, oh, that's cheap. I'll buy it. Take it home. 
I'm walking around my collection room like, where am I gonna put this? Uh, Beast War stuff, so over here, and and I, I look and I already had one. I'm like, oh, well, I mean, these are variants, so I guess I have one to open and one to close. Let me compare the boxes, see which one's Minter, and I'll keep the mint one sealed. So I take it off the, the shelf, and there's another one right behind it. It must be nice sometimes to have a focus collection or a small collection that, hey, I gotta move from one apartment to the other and I gotta fill up my car with these tubs and you make one trip and you're done. That must be nice. I had a bunch of trucks come to my house. Hey, it's He-Man. Oh, it's Vankman. Here we go. These are really, really bigger. Now, what's weird about this? Standard G1 Optimus, right? Pretty generic Optimus. Very specific Megatron. That is just bizarre. What, what a pairing. Like, if you were going to use this Megatron, then it should have been Hot Rod. Very... Very odd. Again, this is what happens when you let people who are in charge of licensing, who maybe don't understand the brand as well. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know. Raffaello. There he is. Um, YOLO Megatron. This is different from the Megatron I got off Kickstarter. This has less stuff in it. And I still bought it. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Masterpiece 44S. I don't know who that is. Autobot Commander. Sure. What is, wow, what is this? Oh, Decepticon Nemesis Bridge. Megatron Shockwave Soundwave. Didn't know that was coming. Put you down here. Got a lot of, a lot of shit to open. What is this? Oh, hey, cool. I love these. Very fragile though. These are the little snap together model kits. A lot like the YOLO Park figures. Boy, it feels like this box is empty. Machine Robo. Yes, I, I like GoBots. Oh, Transformers Masterpiece MPM11D. That's a train bot. There's another Rhinox. Sometimes I forget what I pre-order, and I pre-order it a second time. Uh, Dinobot versus Tarantulas. All right. And who's this? This is Air Razor versus Inferno. Nice. And uh, who we got here? We got... Oh, Missing Link. Missing Link. Missing Link. Missing Link. Missing... These are all Missing Links. And... Magmatron. All right. All right. Okay. Missing link. Missing link. Everyone look at me. I'm a missing link. Yeah. Oh, missing link. Woo! Oh, I love the star foam. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, we're gonna fucking open it. When's the last time you opened a sealed toy that had styrofoam insert? Oh, that is an intoxicating aroma. Art. Sometimes 
There are perfect things in this world. And this may just be one of them. Does it have the holes in the back to push it out? It does. Oh, it's so G1-y. Oh, this is, a, this is truly a love letter. I almost want to break the styrofoam getting it out. But I can't. Man, it's been a long time since I... I held a G1 Optimus. I forgot how tiny it was. You can't tell by looking at it. You can't tell it's any different. Oh, you can't tell it's any different. Oh, look at me. I'm 45 years old. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> the bucket matrix is chat. Ha 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 ha. Oh. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh. This is great. <laughs> Can we get it on this one? Look, there's, there's this fucking hand. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I want to rub your rub side. I want to rub your rub side so hard. Oh. <laughs> it swivels. articulated oh holy shit oh oh for fuck's sake <laughs> he can move his fucking waist <laughs> uh you know what Maybe Masterpiece had its run. Maybe Masterpiece... Maybe Masterpiece is done. Because maybe... Just maybe... Yeah, I want the whole line in Masterpiece. But now I want the whole line in Missing Link. Oh... Baby, I want to sideswipe, and I want to sideswipe to come with a backpack for Optimus. Oh, yeah. Oh, you make me happy. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when the skies are gray. Oh, all right. That's that's all I can take for today. Tape has been cut. Woo! Remember to register to vote. I'm not telling you who to vote for. Just telling you to go vote. Wash your hands. Get your ass checked. I'm 45. I got to do that now. For my birthday, I got a text from my doctor. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Get your ass checked. And I will. Yep, I will. Goodbye, Convoy. Oh, imagine if they made a Goodbye Convoy set, and that was the only way you can get Red Alert, was by getting this. Oh.